Good morning and welcome to the 92nd Annual State Fair of West Virginia and to Governor's Day. I'm thrilled that everyone could join us this morning. Most importantly, welcome to our new grand entrance in Tomlin Plaza. We're so excited for this project to finally be complete. It's been the product of many different visions over the past year. And after last summer, of course, we had the, the, new, the new underpass, which was a great addition to this fairground, and we can't thank you enough for that. So President Gee, Dean Robeson, and Peter Butler, who is not here today, thank you all for WVU's efforts. In case you don't know, this project was a sophomore class project for WVU's School of, let me get that right, Landscape, Architecture, and Environmental Design. Uh, they came up, yes, absolutely. So most of the concept from this area, they told us to put a seating area on a hill that we had no idea what, what to do with. And they told us to go with the state park theme to best represent West Virginia. So their project has been huge. It was a huge help for this area and we're so excited to have it. I would also like to say a quick thank you to some of our contractors. Those include Valley Rebuilders, T. White Construction, Richmond Construction, and Greenbrier Valley Dreamscapes who did the landscape for the project. And last but certainly not least, Governor Tomlin, we thank you. Thank you for your dedication to our state and to the State Fair of West Virginia. We're truly grateful for your support over the past several years. <laughs> Talk about the uh, long arm of the law here to reach out there, but uh, yeah, really. I mean, I'm honored, first of all, to be back here again this year. It's always one of my favorite days uh, to be able to come to the uh, State Fair. And I was thinking about this morning, about back in 19, uh, 2010, 2011, during my first few months in office. I remember being in here, I was in Greenbrier County for seven. They said, please stop by on the fairgrounds. We want to show you something. Well, I had an idea of what it was, but I think it was Dr. Wilson, he on the board, yeah. his name. And I think uh, Senator Miller, Tom Campbell, were all, they had me right up here someplace. And I remember this old uh, bridge that came across through there. And it was, yeah, I, I came across it so many times over the years. And it was tough for some of our elderly people, some of the handicapped people. But they were telling they were wanting a new bridge, and but they didn't let up on me. They stayed on me until I finally told Paul Maddox, my Secretary of Highway and Transportation, I said, let's get it built, but let's not do a bridge, let's do a, an underpass which will make it easy. And last year we dedicated the underpass and kept here this evening to see what the students at WVU, the creative minds that we got up there, is unbelievable. And we have thousands of people coming under this underpass. That first impression means a whole lot when they come in here and it has the wow effect. So I'm proud to have played a part in it. I think, uh, you know, I just want to say that you know, none of this stuff just happens. It takes lots of people. It takes Kelly, it takes the entire board working countless hours, giving up their time to make sure that we have a successful West Virginia State Fair. We've been doing it now for 92 years, and uh, it keeps getting better every year. So I want to say thanks to, to Kelly and her staff and, and to all the members of the board for all the hard work that you all do each and every year. It really, really makes us proud as West Virginia. So once again, thank you for having me. 